Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Let's see what you got. Always happy to make a sale. Hey. I think I've got something in your size. I just need to trade gear with you. Sure. Sweet. Got it.
You're gonna drag that junk around. What is it?
Someone or something is playing games with us. Got a sec. Disgusting. Smells like the bathroom after Salisbury steak night. Whoa. <laughs> hey, what is it? Hey. Seems awfully quiet around here. You have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Go on. I'm not sure how to put this. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. 
I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two waves of humanity, I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of my goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they use me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I don't know how you survived. That makes two of us. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. That's murder. Was it murder? Or was it justice? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You'd think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Why judge yourself? My parents sold me into slavery. But did they deserve to die for it? Yeah, I took some hard knocks as I was growing up. But they fed me and kept me from glowing with rads. This is the kind of crap that starts me mind wandering and drives me literally to drink. I guess I'm just waiting to hear what you think of me now. Don't worry. I haven't lost faith in you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. I'm just glad I haven't disappointed you. It's fine. Good. I wouldn't want to strain our little partnership. Well, thanks for listening to me prattle. I suppose we can get back to business now. Find anything good on him? Whoa. Oh, no, you don't.
sweeping the floor with you. Seems awfully quiet around here. Are you kidding me? It stinks in here. <laughs> 